All right, after 32 years of waiting, Detroit Lions fans saw their team win a playoff game, and they are anxiously waiting for another one this weekend. Lions remain at home, taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their divisional round. Mm -hmm. And with all the excitement, sadly comes opportunity for some criminals. The Macomb County Sheriff's Office says a Lions fan was swindled after responding to a post on Facebook offering tickets to the game. When the man sent the agreed money, the woman asked for more money for tickets to be transferred in his name. Yeah, got to watch out for those scammers. A man was suspicious, though, when he thought he was being scammed. He then contacted law enforcement. So here with us to talk about how this can happen so easily and also how to avoid these things is Nakia Mills of the Better Business Bureau of Eastern Michigan and Upper Peninsula. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you for being here, Nakia. So what are some of the things to look out for, especially because a lot of people are posting on Facebook and in different social apps. What should people look out for when they see those posts? Well, first things we recommend avoid social media. It's not really the safest place to purchase a ticket for any event and that just leaves you open to more scam opportunities. They know we're excited right now. And so they're just hoping you act quickly. You think you found the best offer and then they pounce on you. And a lot of times these scammers can almost go undetected or in a way you just feel like it could be a legitimate purchase. Yeah. How do you know the difference? So a few red flags. One, if it's a website, which isn't always social media, they do make fake websites now. So you have to be careful of that. Look at the URL, make sure it's secure. It should have HTTPS and you should see a little lock. That's your tip that this is a real website. Um, search BBB.org. Have you heard of this source that suddenly is offering you a ticket? A uh, red flag if they reach out to you. We know no Lions ticket right now is going for less than $500. Mm. If someone suddenly is posting on social media, hey, two tickets for $300, um, if they ask you to pay with Cash App, Venmo, that's unsafe. And now your money is unsecure. You can't get that back when you give it away. Yeah. And, and with that, we know those apps are so popular, though, for exchanging money. Mm -hmm. So what would be an alternative? Try to use a credit card. Okay. Um, even if you have a credit card connected to your Venmo, at least you're safer that way because it's a credit card. Um, credit cards are secure. So as soon as you're using that debit card or cash, it's just gone. So any way you can try to avoid just handing over your hard-earned money would probably be the safest bet. Yeah, and we know Facebook, X, all those things are definitely breeding ground for scammers, but sometimes you can find them in person too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And I mean, if you find someone in person, just be afraid of that, especially now a lot of tickets, you know, they're available online. So a person maybe is just copying a ticket. It's, I know we're desperate, but just because this person says it's a ticket, I wouldn't trust that. So, and you can, if it's before the game, I believe you can go and actually go to the booth and get them to look at that ticket. But at that point, it's too late because you already took possession. Yeah, we okay. know they're desperate and they know we are too. <laughs> exactly, yes. very excited. So, so they are, they are uh, <laughs> preying on us a little bit. But what, sometimes when you're talking to people, before you give over that money, what should be the red flag that says, okay, let me really think about this. This may be a scam. One, they're probably rushing you. Okay. It's always act now. You have to hurry up. Someone else will take this. Take your time. <laughs> if it's meant for you, it will be there for you. Um, and two, definitely, again, if they're trying to get you to pay them via cash app or something like that, don't do that. Okay. Try to not hand over the cash like we already said that too. Okay. So it's just think, be smart. If it's too good to be true, even if it's someone you think you're close to, a friend that thinks they have a special offer, it's probably not real. If it's too good to be true, our parents told us it probably it is. is. Yeah, and I know they're taking advantage of this playoff excitement, but this is something to keep in mind year round because For those sure, scammers yes. work around the clock. We're on your block around the clock, but so are the scammers. Mm -hmm. No days off. <laughs> no <them>. days off. <laughs> no days off. <laughs> exactly. You gotta watch it, right? And they know we're excited. And it's where can been people find years. more information just in um, terms of scammers in general? Oh yeah, go to bbb.org slash Detroit for our local information. And if you are a victim of a scam or think you even might be, go to bbb.org slash scam tracker, and then you can report that and save other people too. All right. Great tips, yeah. Nikia Mills. Thank you so much for Thank being Thank you guys with us. for having me. Thank it. you.